Hello everybody. Tonight we are attempting to remove our uh, ghost ornamental. We're going to do some routine cleaning, give her a different uh, decoration in there for a hide since she doesn't climb on wood very much. Um, so as you can see she's She's in the back, you can kind of see her through her web. She's just kind of webbed everything. She usually stays on the glass. So we're going to um, get her taken out in this video. We'll have two more that go through the rest of it. So here we go. First, we're gonna have to try to move some of her web around and get the moss out that's around her decoration now. Gotta do it slowly. Pocatherias are pretty fast and can be aggressive. Ours really hasn't shown much aggression but she can be really fast. So we're just gonna try to do this slow but quickly at the same time just to not stress her out so much. She's a pretty big girl. She's probably about six, six and a half inches now. She's really pretty. As you can see, she likes to web all of her moss and dirt up into it. So it makes for a very good camouflage. <laughs> we never actually get to see her eat. She waits for him to go in the back. She on the ground now? No, she's still hanging up on the back. Oh, okay. Wow, is that her? Is there a molt in there? No, I don't see. No, that's her. That's her? Wow, she's really that's spread her. out. Yeah. This wood I have in there just fits. So hopefully I don't disturb her too much getting it out. Yeah, it's buried pretty deep in there. So we're hoping this goes smoothly. Worst case scenario, she freaks out. Gonna just have to stay calm. I'm not really too worried about her. She's been really docile lately during cleaning and removing of molts, which I did. Uh, she didn't seem to worry about that too much. She, she's been pretty pretty easy going. She just, when she gets scared, she'll take off, but she's never really been aggressive. But you do want to clean out enclosures on a regular basis it's because of, you know, regular creature excretions. But she... Wow, I can start to see her now. Let's zoom in a little bit for you. Wow, she's all at an angle. But you can see how big she is and how pretty she is. You're in the way. Sorry. Okay, now that we're focused again. Wow, look at her. She's a big one. Hey she's a big one really pretty. So again, this is our Pocatheria. Well, since we're out here, we don't want her to run go up the top. and out. <laughs> put the, well, like we can't see the top of the video. Put the screen top back on. Okay. So now we're just going to put her into a Tupperware container. It has some holes in it for ventilation. We just had it laying around. So we're just going to put her in that so that we can dump out the dirt, clean the sides, replace the dirt, put in her new hide, and then we'll go ahead and put her back in there. She's a very pretty, pretty girl. See if I can get her on a Can't floor. see her. Hmm? Can't see her when you're right there. Please don't take off. Yeah, 
she is. The last time we did this, she was pretty calm. She just kind of did what we wanted her to do. But she is hungry. We haven't fed him yet this weekend, so Come on, wake probably up. can't ask too much. Wake up. Wake up. I can't see. She's a type that'll just be calm and then <laughs> take off. Never really seen her strike, but wow. she's sleepy. Always wanted to handle her, but now's probably not the time since she hasn't eaten. <laughs> Why don't you just uh, get, yeah, get that and just try to coax her into it? So. Okay, this is plan number two. Hopefully we'll be able to get her in there. Want me to grab the lid for you? Mm -hmm. That would be nice, thank you. Try to slide her off the glass into the Tupperware container and then just put the lid on so that she doesn't escape. Because she is a really big girl and it's not really a spider you want to have loose in your house. Probably make her a little angry. You could probably take off the screen top now. Sometimes this can be pretty time consuming just to do it the right way. You don't want to rush it because then something will usually happen. There's always accidents when you try to rush something that shouldn't be rushed. Especially with a spider this big and one that can be aggressive, especially you know, old world species. They do tend to be a little on the aggressive side. And just because we haven't seen any aggression out of her yet doesn't mean we won't. So you always want to use precautions. Let's try to do this the best we can without agitating her too much. Stress is never good. Just try to do it as painless as possible. Once she's in her Tupperware container, it's really easy from there. And getting her back in is is easier than <laughs> getting her out sometimes. It's not all the way on the back. Okay, looks like we got her in there. Why don't you bring her over here? We can get an up-close view. See, you can see how dirty the back of the... Uh, Cages. It's really good to, yeah, if you want to just put her on the table. Wow. See how big she is? She's a real, a real pretty spider. She's one of our favorites. We like the mean ones. Okay, well, this was part one of our video. Look for part two and part three. Bye.